You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another insightful, thought provoking episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paco. Paco? That's a new one. Did you mean to say that? I did mean to say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was my nickname in Spanish class at Bishop Ireton for like three years. Really? Uh-huh. You know what my nickname was for years? What? From some buddies, one in particular, who I haven't talked to in a long, 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 oh, long time. Oh, this is going to be good. This dumb, wetto. Uh, like white boy, right? Yeah. yeah. And he was way whiter than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know where it came from. I have no idea. Um, but anywho, thank you for joining us today. My name's Rob. Very thankful for all of you, for the questions, for those of you who take a couple of minutes to send in a question. And if you're willing, ask <laughs> DroneU.com. We want to hear from you. I thought you were going to say a nickname like The Hammer or I know. something like that. I know. Nope. <laughs> I was getting ready. I was going to be like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Crash and burn. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, I'm sorry to let you down, Paul. <laughs> it's okay. It's, uh, it's okay. Uh, I don't think anyone's surprised out there. Um, but anyway, let's get into... Uh, uh, today's show. Today we're talking about um, the best ways to break into drone mapping um, and uh, trying it out as far as processing is concerned. That's what our question is today. Processing options that are free or little to no charge um, to kind of get your foot into the door. So I'm actually excited about this. Uh, today's question is brought to you by... Doo-doo-doo-doo. That's right, our virtual drone mapping bootcamp. Um, I actually am uh, quite surprised at the response to our evening university style uh, drone mapping boot camp. It's uh, 16 sessions, although I think we're taking it down to 14 because we kind of built a buffer in there just to ensure that we got through all the content and some more that we added to these classes. And uh, we actually have two separate uh, virtual mapping boot camps going on right now that end this week, which means we're starting some new ones here pretty soon. So if you would like to learn drone mapping, if you'd like to learn Pix40, if you'd like to learn drone deploy. If you'd like to learn how to actually make deliverables, how to actually get from processing to delivery to client, well, we are happy to help you. In fact, like I said, our evening class right now is the literally the most sold out class we've ever had. Um, I, I can't believe how many people are in that class right now, which means we're doing more of them, just like I said. So join us for a drone mapping bootcamp where you can learn everything from acquisition to processing, the different types of processing, the numerous different outputs and deliverables, and how to get those to your clients. You'll also learn which drone processing platforms are great for scaling your team and which are great for, well, just you as a DSP. Join us, go to droneu.education, scroll down, check out drone events, and you'll see it there. Hey, Paul. Hey, Rob. Kent, New Jersey again. I just had a quick question about free mapping software options out there starting in 2021. An example would be something you wanted to do for just for practice and maybe using Pixworthy Capture, your images, and then something I found called Meshroom for uploading and creating a 3D model. I'm just wondering if you have other examples of free software out there that mappers can use just for practicing, not creating professional deliverables, but literally just for practice. Thanks. Ken, thank you for uh, calling in. It's been a little while since we've heard from you, and so it's nice to hear from you again. Hope all is well. Thank you for the question. AskDroneU.com for your questions. We want to hear from you. Free mapping software, mapping processing software, is what Ken's looking for, things that he could practice with. Um, What have you used? What have you heard is good? I mean, there's quite a few out there, actually, I think. Surprisingly, there is now. There's been a big, there has been a big shift in day trading. Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Market's closing. Uh, anyway, if you don't know that sound, then uh, well, there's more to learn. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there has been a big evolution into uh, free. Uh, drone uh, mapping processors, just like free trading applications that you shouldn't use, like Robinhood. Anyway, uh, that's a diatribe for another time. Uh, that said, Open Drone Map. 
it's actually kind of surprising how far Open Drone Map has become. And I would say it's probably the absolute best opportunity to learn mapping is probably through Open Drone Map. In fact, we were using um, Poetry, which is a service through Open Drone Map that allows us to actually host our point clouds on our own website. In fact, I need to follow up with Tim on something like about that. Um, that said, Open Drone Map does allow you to process, export, etc. for free. Um, that said, you might be surprised actually at some of the other free offerings and some uh, how the free offerings might have changed from some of the powerhouse players. So let's first go into reality capture, capturing reality, whichever name they decide to use, we'll use both. That said, you can actually use capture reality for free. Uh, it's just the exports that you have to pay money in order to actually export your products. Now, Capture Reality does work in a very unique way in regards to the other drone mapping processors because you pay for credits, and those credits are used to actually produce deliverables themselves. Thanks to a student in our membership, I actually purchased a shiza ton of credits uh, in January during their uh, their sale because I knew hmm. that I wanted to get into Capture Reality this year and, and really, really dive down the rabbit hole. Um, that said, there's nothing better than capture reality when it comes to 3D models, and that's why I said that. Okay, so the thing is, again, we can process with capture reality, really focus on 3D modeling, visualizations, VFX, that kind of stuff, but you only have to pay when you export. Okay, number two, or we already went over number two. Number three, um, Pix4D Mapper. So as many of you know, you're allowed to have a two-week trial with Pix4D Mapper, and it gives you the discovery mode. Um, you are able to produce certain results, but you cannot uh, download them. Um, that said, I really want to talk, and it might be too much talking, uh, frankly, for the show to keep it succinct, but I will say that I think forcing yourself to work within that two-week window that pix 4 d gives you mm. is actually a good catalyst to provide pressure to you to actually like learn and go through exercises and try data sets. I find it to be a good kind of nudge to be like, keep going, you know, don't like keep going, be consistent, keep learning. Yeah. Um, that said, one of the benefits of attending our mapping classes, especially the eight week boot camps where they're done in the evenings, is that you uh, students gain an educational license for that eight weeks and they're able to use uh, Pix4D in its entirety for those eight weeks. You know, we've been working with Drone Deploy as well, and Drone Deploy has a two week trial as well. And what I love that Drone Deploy has been doing, and big shout out to Andrew Dennison for making this happen for our students. We really appreciate it. Um, is, you know, Drone Deploy has a two week trial as well. And if you do attend our class, they extend the trials to allow you to utilize Drone Deploy uh, so that you can see the difference. And a lot of people understand why people use Drone Deploy in the cloud. It's one sure. of the most efficient workflows out there. Yeah. And for a lot of deliverables, it's probably the most efficient workflow. That said, there are, uh, I just thought it was a good opportunity to thank Drone Deploy because uh, I'm grateful that they've helped our students. That's what I really for, care about. Absolutely. Yeah, they've been great. So, uh, this is a short show because the answer free mapping softwares, uh, I would recommend, I would recommend open drone map. Uh, the last thing I want to say is pix 40 react. Okay. This is something actually, uh, I was talking to Marriott about this just the other day, uh -huh. this morning. Are they using it? Uh, they want to, I have to do want a demo to. with them on Friday. Gotcha. Um, but I personally love Pix4D React, especially as I learn more and more about our enterprise clients and how they are using drone mapping, especially Ortho Mosaics. Um, in our Props Mapper program, which which is really built for enterprise drone teams, it's it teaches them the final workflow recap is you're going to go out, get an ortho, do these the, these photos, progression photos, and super smooth drone video. And... I keep telling our clients, like, have you looked into Pix4D React? And the answer is always no. And they're like, what, what is it? And I was like, it's the fastest ortho mosaic generator on the planet. Literally the fastest. Um, and I say it's the fastest because drone deploy is extremely fast, but it requires internet. Mm. Pix4D React does not. Which is why I say it's the fastest because you kind of cool. inhibit the whole transferring data thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that said, Pix4D React really only works when you fly a single grid nader tilt on the camera, okay? Which mm. brings me to an important point for all of you looking into getting into drone mapping, right? Um, it's important to know 
uh, the different acquisition styles. And it's important to know the different types of processing engines from cloud to desktop and all-in-ones. And we've got a really great page, which is thedroneu.com forward slash what is drone mapping software uh, with uh, what is it called dashes in between each word. And it'll take you to this page that uh, I worked really hard on to give everyone a sense of what drone mapping is, understanding some of the terms, understanding common deliverables, the history, the different programs, et cetera. And I will just say that, frankly, um, there is so much to learn, and it's a it's an extremely long learning curve. And uh, that said, understand whatever you process, okay, is only going to be as good as your acquisition, meaning how you flew, the photos that you took, what the photos are like, et cetera. And um, it's important to know that you can only map what you can see. And it's not what Rob can see or you can see in this video. It's what your drone can see. Visual line of sight, okay? That said, there's a lot to learn with drone mapping. Don't let it overwhelm you. It's really fun. Once you get into it, once you get the basic workflow, you understand it. It's really exciting because it's one of those things that like continues to challenge you. And if you're like me and you like to keep learning and you like to keep advancing your skill set, et cetera, um, drone mapping is one of those rabbit holes that just, it, it keeps going and going and going. And uh, I love it. Frankly. And there's so many things you can do with it. I mean, it's... Uh Seems like there's new things coming out every week that you can do with mapping. There are. There, uh, yeah, there sure are. There sure are. Um, Some you don't want to do. Mm, that's actually <laughs> what was on the top of my mind uh, just now. I figured. Uh, yeah. What's your response? <laughs> Hence my comment. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, sorry. Uh, anyway, um, long story short is um, check out Pix4D React. It's not free. It's I think I want to say it's like $39 a month or $300 for the year. But... Again, you're only going to output ortho mosaics with that, okay? Just orthos, not geo-referenced, important to know. And just know that with uh, drone mapping, there's hundreds of deliverables. Start slow, okay? And uh, don't think that you can do the most complex jobs right away. It could get you in a lot of trouble. Good okay. advice. That's all I got, Rob. That's plenty. That's going to do it then for us. Thanks again for joining us. If you found this useful, please leave us a review. We do greatly appreciate it. Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Overcast, Stitcher, wherever you listen to the show, please leave us a review and send in those drone questions. AskDroneU.com. Coming up in the show or the next couple of shows, we're going to be talking and diving into um, the DJI FPV drone. Now, if you've been reading my articles, thedroneu.com forward slash blog, if you've been reading my articles, then you know that we accurately predicted what the FPV drone would do to this industry. And as I got a text message this morning from the FAA, the FAA is already planning on responding. So uh, the waves and the ripples are being heard, felt, and uh and discerned. reacted to yeah <laughs> so which i think is good because it if you good. if you look mm. at some of like the yeah. i would call it the veteran drone influencers we're all saying the same thing mm -hmm. you know and uh and so that actually gives me great <sighs> gives me actually it makes me feel good well the last thing we need is more reason for more restrictive rules and guidelines and laws etc just rip into the clouds, Rob. Just rip into the clouds. <laughs> Just not in America. Uh, anyway, but uh, <laughs> that's gonna. There's gonna be a series of shows on that. We are excited for DJI FPV. We'll, we we will be covering it in the Don't Crash course for everyone wondering. If you are a existing member, it will be free to you. That said, thanks again for joining us. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. And if you're building a drone team you seriously need to check out propsflightschool.com. There's a reason I'm so quiet in other social avenues. Propsflightschool.com. 